What's up guys, this is episode 7 Top Chef Canada Q&A number 7. Alright, so this episode we had a couple things going on. We had a surprise family visit, someone from home, our significant others or our loved ones came and they brought us something that we didn't know about. So that was the quick fire, Livingston Challenge. We had to make a pairing with Mill Street Brewery, a uh, mystery sort of beer that we pulled from the tap. I got the 100th Meridian. So those are the two things that happened on episode seven. Let's get this going. Oh, forgot. I made it to the finale. Check it out, ne uh, episode eight, the finale, that's it. Me, Hayden, Phil, Paul, we cook for the Top Chef ch title. Um, it's a big one, it's an absolute big one. Um, we're just waiting, gotta watch it. By the way, exclusive created the Gold on Black Six Pack Chef, a cut above tea. They're gonna be going on my viewing party. Exclusive only made 50, so first come, first serve. Whatever's left, hopefully none's left. They'll be on my website at sixpackchef.com. So until then, let's get into these questions. All right, so Elizabeth asks, do you cook with your dad and will you do so more often after that episode? Um, we used to, I guess, when we were more both in the, uh, at home together, whether it was cooking for dinner or something like that. Uh, we'll cook now every occasionally, but not on purpose. So it's more like, okay, we've got a family gathering, um, we gotta make food, then we'll go cook. Um, and we usually do that, we don't prep anything, it's more of we finish the items together. Um, what we do, we'll like cook more often. Um, nothing's changed really after that episode. Um, just because our, our schedules are so crazy, right? Um, so that's why. I'm saying I'm a lot today. That's very unlike me. Okay. Next question. Next question. Let's do this. Uh, Von Malachek asks, "How does it feel being upstaged by your old man?" Up. Oh, doesn't matter. I'll I'll let him do it anytime. At the end of the day, he's still my dad. Um, but yeah, that's how. It's not nothing crazy. I don't feel my. I I really don't care. It's cool. I I actually enjoy the fact that. He was able to have a little bit of air time, which is nice. Um, let him feel, let him have a little, you know, the spotlight, a little celeb status. And yeah, it was cool to do it with him. So thanks for that question. Uh, let's see. Electric Life. If the quick fire challenge was that you had to select one of the f other four pairings, pairings, uh, the people that they brought from the ingredients, which would you and your dad have picked and what would you have made with the dish? Um, I have no, let me see, I probably would have grabbed uh, the mushrooms from Paul. Um, I don't know, it's just because it's it's more unique a little thing that I haven't cooked with. Or you, maybe it would have been Phil's, um, Phil's garlic, same thing. I don't know what I make with it, definitely something savory, wouldn't be a dessert, that's one for sure. And it's, and I guess for you guys, the, um, you guys need to know the that we actually didn't know that our significant other or whatever was coming. Like, they never tell us that. We walked in thinking we were just gonna cook for ourselves, like, just like a regular qu a quick fire. We didn't know that our significant uh, family member or other was coming. We didn't know they were bringing an ingredient. We don't, we never know anything in advance in the entire show. There's nothing that we know in advance. Uh, do, 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 do. Tiana asks, Tiana Sharon asks, were you happy with the ingredient your dad brought? And is it what you thought he'd bring? Um, yeah, I don't mind it. Lap chung is a great, uh, great ingredient. Grew up eating it. It's got so much flavor. It's umami. It's got complexity. Uh, complexity. Complexity. Um, I'm, yo, I can't talk today. I apologize, guys. Uh, what else? But I think I treat it like you would treat, say, a salami, or even more so like bacon. If you think of if you think of what everything you would be able to do with bacon, you can pretty much do with lap chow. Um, and honestly, I thought that he probably would have brought that, or... I don't know, maybe, I want to say, I want to say he might have brought in like, instant noodles or spam, probably not instant noodles because he thinks it's Top Chef. Um, spam, probably not either, but I'd like him to bring those things. I wouldn't mind that. But if, but yep. Yeah. So that's what I would think I would have asked him to bring. Uh, those are all the questions. 
So I'm actually going to talk a little bit about going into episode 8, going into the finale. It's crazy that it's finally here. It's been so long, but it's also gone by so quick. It's eight weeks already that we've done these Q&As, that we've done these viewing parties. Um, and the fact that out of 14 chefs, I'm here standing saying I'm making it to the finale to be able to have the opportunity to cook and have the Top Chef Canada title, the $100,000, the Quiznart stuff, the Air Transat trip. It's crazy to think because I know for a fact that a lot of people when they when we first started Top Chef Canada when they first announced everybody they didn't expect me to be here that um, in the finale and honestly I expected myself to be here when I was to go into Top Chef Canada I told myself that I had to make it to the finale and once I did that I'm just gonna cook my final meal and that will be able to set the tone and say all that needs to be said to crown me Top Chef Canada. So Monday, Monday, May 20th, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Food Network Canada. You can watch it three hours after online on foodnetwork.ca under Top Chef. The finale, Top Chef Canada 7, Six Pack Chef. You guys are amazing. You guys are my Team Wallace, Team Six Pack Chef. We've been riding and dying through the last eight weeks together and we're gonna ride this one out too. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Feel free to message me anytime. I always like to connect with my fans, always connect with people who just wanna chat with me. Um, so yeah, my followers, all of you guys, my support system. So thank you. Until then, as always, peace.